Say one and welcome back to some more FGO. We can continue with Salem. Yes, finally. Woo! I'm 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 really curious what's gonna go down in this. I'm still wondering about Lavinia. Like, what's what's her thing in all of this? And um, yeah, I I really like the music. It's very nice. Uh, the quest is no battle. Okay, okay. Kids screaming outside. Is this Abigail doing something weird out there I should be worried about? Oh. <laughs> what? What are your fun, outstanding gentlemen with eyes? Is this something I should be worried Nani? So this is the Puritan colony of Salem. Yeah, moment, sir. Whew. Finally managed to do two duck. You're the only cargo we're unloading here, sir. That sounds kinky if you ask me. Certainly fine by me though, since you're already paid for passage. Pretty rough storm we had to sail through to get here though. You doing alright? I think, and I realized the sound is not, I think this should be better, yeah, I'm sorry for that. Ah, there we go, now things are right in the world again. I'm on land now, my work is on land, where man lives, works. <laughs> there is no land inhabited by man here or anywhere. That is rave on the end. Not even Eden itself. Okay, now nah, he doesn't speak like that. He's a very odd man. He he had been smoking for two hundred years, and uh, he he defrauded a pipe. But that's because kind of, there are people from the village who like to see you. I simply the upset. There are a good number of them too. Oh nay. Is this is this where everything going to hell? I see. Very well, I'll go and meet them. Pardon me for a moment, Miss Elano. Hey, I good to see you too, Your Honor. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, am I the honor? What's this all about? You have left to answer for Miss Carter. Rubble, rubble, rubble. Uncle, Tituba is. Abigail, you're here too, Tituba. And, and Mishka. What's up with the music? Okay, that's creepy. Did these people bring you here? Again, what's it all about? May I remind you that Tituba is my servant. I'll thank you to mind how. Uh, I'll thank you to mind how do you treat. Him. I will. Huh? I will thank you to my. Hey! Is that English? <laughs> uh, fine. That is to me, Miss Carter. Miss Carter, my daughter has been lying face down in bed, ill, all day. Are you sure she's not just watching her uh, phone? I know they don't have any phones. I know when you stopped uh, this morning, I told you she was just tired from last night's excitement. I thought she would be fine once she got some sleep, but I was wrong. She kept groaning and breathing as if she was fighting a terrible fever. I tried to give her some bread and water to help her calm down, but she refused. I was at loss for what to do next, so I asked the Reverend to take come and take a look at her. How can he? I, uh, you guys don't have eyes, so what can you see? But once he arrived, she seemed to be suffering more than ever. Hmm, how so exactly? Uh, what, what, uh, Reverend? 
You look exactly like the other one. Just with your different clothes on. I just imagine that the, uh, the other dude is just turning around. And then he's... Like, yes, uh, I am the reverend uh, and concerned. Yes. It seemed to me as if... As if she was possessed by the devil himself. She cried out with shrill inhuman voice. <coughs> Something like that? Strangle me with such strength as... Wait. And try to strangle me with such strength as no child should ever have. We held her down as best as we could, and she finally passed out and went limp. We then went to change her sheets. Well, that's creepy. I found this strange and devilish charm within the straw. According to Putnam's daughter, it was Tituba who made it. Putnam is his name? Uh, well, someone named Putnam. Putnam. <laughs> oh my. What an evil looking wooden figure. I'll take that as evidence. You know, uh, you know very well, when he say uh, I take that as evidence, he's gonna go home, play with it, and do some very weird shit with it. We know that. Don't trust this guy. This guy got something very concerning thing going on. Is this true, Tituba? Did you make that? I... Mr. Carter, it's well... You guys know the wrong. This is Tituba's fault. And took it without asking. We could hear the commotion all the way inside. What's going on? Uh, uh, it looks like most of the village is here. Is that the two body interrogate in the middle of the crowd? Yeah. I always knew there was something strange about you. Oh, this is dreadful. I don't suppose. You have someone for me? Were you the one who had those Indians killed the Williamses? Stop that! The William girl is right there. You're you're a witch! <laughs> oh my god! I hate this kind of shit. I mean, it is so obvious, you know. It's ignorance. Fear and ignorance are two very dangerous things to combine. And the the bad thing is, there's things like this today as well, you know. People are ignorant and fearful, and even if they don't burn people on the stake like they did here, like, oh, the witches burned them, but we still have lots of fear and ignorance running rampant, and it just, ah! people are dumb, and at the same time, I, f I understand, you know, it's easy, like, when you are in a bad situation, it's like now with the corona and everything like that, people are like, man, they're taking out their fears on others, you know? God. That's a two used in blasphemous curses. I suspect this woman is guilty of heresy. What the fuck is that? Nani? Who, who are you? Ah. The names. Matthew Hopkins. I just arrived here on the boat from Boston. Matthew Hopkins, should I? Should I? I'm actually gonna go because I'm, I'm curious. I mean, obviously, uh, Hopkins get heard before Matthew Hopkins uh, was an English witch hunter. Oh well. Uh, well, man, I actually see an. Uh, Ancient, well, ancient, you know, and uh, drawing they did on him from that time, and actually nailed him pretty well here, I must say. 
Okay, so he was a witch hunter. Or witch finder, as he was called. Oh god, this guy gonna be an ass, isn't it? Oh no, gosh. Oh, that's pretty interesting. As of tonight, I've been appointed Salem's head judge by order of the governor. Who do you think you are? Bargain in here? FBI. Oh no! Ah, oh, damn it, the Fed. What's this? My. This really is an official notice of appointment. And that of a superior judge, no less. I, I apologize for my rudeness. Pay hey, no mind. These are extraordinary circumstances. People of Salem, I first ask that you calm yourself and regain your composure. The devil's power is at its height in the hours of dark. We must not let our fears guide our decision. That is true, but considering you, <laughs> what you are, that's a really bad thing. I hereby order that this slave be taken into custody and interrogated. Well, at least he's not shining around like servant. He's like, <laughs> well, this slave. Oh, God, man. I will hear that what she says in the morning. Tinova is in danger. God damn. Don't do it, Lano. I mean, master. Who are you to tell me what to do? I am Lotto, and I have done lots of dumb shit. But, uh, you know. Uh, please, just stay out of... Oh, yeah, we don't know who Medea is, so I have this weird... You just can't interfere here. You need to remain a bystander right now, or you will get swept up in this as well. My dear? Can't you tell? It's begun. Mortal Kombat! Oh, God. I'm glad to see you're willing to cooperate. To cooperate. Miss Carter, as her owner, I'd like you to accompany her to the town's holding cell. All right, I will accompany you. Mr. Carter? Miss Machu? Miss Lano? I'm sorry to trouble you, but could I ask you to take Abigail home for me? I know I can trust you and your troop. You all proved that in your play. Was that the fourth one? <laughs> that was <a> bad. <laughs> Abby. This is awful. Oh, yeah, yeah. A poor tituba. I have an awful, awful fucking... F oh, God. Don't tell me we're gonna ending up getting Tituba burned on the stakes, like... Oh, gosh. Yay! St. Quart! Yahoo! That's sweet. That's nice. Oh, gosh. But that is... That is... Oh, oh wait. I had... Here. <laughs> Big, yeah, indeed! Indeed! Oh, you're like a little fortune cookie on mm, your little rap scallion. But yeah, seriously, oh gosh. I mean, for us today, you know, looking back how people reacted here, like, oh no, we need to burn this witches, aka witches, on the stakes, you know. I mean, today we're looking back like, man, these people were dumb, but that is, that had have always been like that and it still is as I said when people are afraid they seek solace in something and sometimes it is like to put the blame on others you know people do that even today whatever side on the political spectrum you are people put blame on others and in this case obviously it was like oh, yeah, we're gonna murder all the women that were considered witches and the dudes. There was well one dude, I think someone you mentioned. And uh, it is really sad, seriously. Humans are so dumb at times, but sadly, it's you know, it's one I'm reading. I love to read history, you know. I love I love to read and learn more stuff like this, but it's also fucking horrendous. When you when you read and learn more, like my God, like how could we, how could we as humans do things like this? Like, 
And still today, how can we do? Oh. Man, at times I'm like, man, we should just cancel humanity. <laughs> First not? Oh, no, no, I'm just thinking on Father Not in Outland. No, Outland. Out, Outlast 2. Outlander. Outside. Don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. First Not. How about Not? <laughs> Man, this is... Oh, gosh. I don't must say, though. I actually kind of like it. It's very story-driven here. It's not much fight so far. It's a lovely house. The next day, Salem, day two. I see. So Master went to the village in order to accompany Mr. Carter. That's right. Robin went along too to keep them safe. She said she is hoping they can determine whether the figure really is cursed or not, as part of our investigation. It looks like we just have to rely on Senpai for this. True, we need to be especially careful right now. How's Abigail doing? Abby hasn't left the room since last night. I tried to bring her something to eat, but she wouldn't even touch it. Neza went and climbed up to the roof earlier. Oh yeah, I forgot Neza was here. But I have no idea what she got in mind. You know, ever since we got here, Neza has been acting like a cat on his last nerve. Or maybe she is a cat. Maybe she likes kids more than she lets on. <sighs> anyway, it's hard to see Abby so down in the dumps. Sam or not, the tuba clearly means a lot to her. Seeing the tuba thrown in jail must have shocked poor Abby. She's very different from the other, other children, isn't she? There can't be many children as sensitive as her in this time period. Yeah, I mean... Oh, God. Children, man. It's especially unusual that she would be so close to, well, a slave. Right? When you think about it, slave... Oh, God. I mean, just the thought of it. Being a slave is fucking terrifying for me. You know? Imagine that you... you you have no nothing. You're literally someone's thing. In many ways. Gosh. Oof. Why we humans suck so much? I'm not sure, so, so sure about that. It is simply in her nature to be kind. Anyone can be compassionate like she is. It's just a matter of actually wanting to. Sans on my sweet man! I agree with Sans, prejudice only takes root in certain environments. Indeed. I mean, I was such in the past, to be honest, and even if I regret most of my... F even if I never did actually really talk about it or did anything, I had lots of these thoughts, very prejudiced thoughts, but that was pr pretty much because of my father's influences and stuff like that, so... Luckily I grew that away from that, so... Abby lives, li lives, lives, uh, lives, uh, at least by the stand of this colony. And she seems to have a very good education as well, thanks to Mr. Carter. Mr. Carter, eh? And somehow, even after the loss of she suffered, she held on to her natural cheerfulness. I think that might be her greatest strength, but she still couldn't have done it all alone. It's only because Tituba, someone else who knew her parents well, was there besides her. Must have been big help to have a close family friend around to talk with her parents gone. That's why she's taking it so hard. She's afraid she's about to lose someone else she loves. Again. You know, when I put it that way, it kind of sounds like someone else we know, doesn't it? About that, when we went to look for Abby after she ran away yesterday, I found out that... Any? Hmm, an extreme fear of Native Americans, huh? Yes, but it wasn't just fear, it was loathing. I'm sure I have to put it... Maybe strong fixation. Whatever it was, it was definitely unusual. Oh, not really. I mean... They... they... 
I, f I f This is a can of worm that we should probably not open up, but you know. Uh, obviously, fear ruled that time. And um, those poor people that, you know, just like entered here and like. And uh, the Native Americans that are like, yo, why? And they're like, ah, this is, this is Arno. And they're like, no, fuck no, bro. And they're like, yo, bro, it's our bro, bro, bro. And they're like, bro. And that the, the, the big bro were entered and everything is like, oh, bro. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, it's people. Uh, they suck. So that's all you felt there was something different about her then? What did Master have to say about that? And dear, where, are you this, where were you this morning? Answer the question, Mashu. Ah, I refuse to do that. Well, yesterday I was still processing it myself, along with everything else that happened last night. I never got a sh good chance to tell her. I see. This may actually be for the best. Nanny? What do you mean by that, Medea? I've turned the house into a magical workshop. I just finished the ride moments ago. Nay? Are you sure that was a good idea? That seems like the kind of thing we really should have asked Mr. Carter about. And probably consider a situation with literally witch hunters and stuff like that here. I don't think we should have done that at all. I don't think we should start with that. Oh, don't be such a wet blanket. I had to do it if we were going to contact Shaldea. Uh, regardless, that was awful bird, especially giving the circle. <laughs> People might have seen. Sounds like you're eating the head right on the nail there. Were you in your spirit form? Yes. What's more, you should have all be able to use your spear forms now, too. At least within the house and its grounds. Yeah. Oh. Nice as a died. It's back again. So it would seem. I guess we have the, your right to thank for this. But what exactly is going on? Now we can change our spirit forms too. You said. That sounds like you already could. Oh, Mara Harris. She's on. Well, of course. <laughs> Who do you think you are talking to? Uh, rule breaker and uh, saber fan girl, fifty four. I'm Medea. He caught herself taught me magecraft. Hmm. There is no point in your speculation about what might be happening here. What we need is proof. Proof that there is something strange about this whole village, magically and historically. I mean, uh, we know that is something we're going on. Proof that this whole land, that Salem itself, is a real heretical version of history. As such, in order to observe it properly, I needed a workshop that I could withdraw to. Somewhere isolated from an outside influence. I see. Then I trust you will fill us in the details once Master returns. Along with why you're the only one who avoid being pseudo incarnated. My, so direct and forceful, aren't you? <laughs> Heretical history. Then does that mean this land, Salem as it, as it is now? It's actually a separate dimension created with Magecraft, rather than its actual past self having been brought here unintentionally? Damn! Oh, holy shit! I think so. I still can't read the rules on some of the destin Destiny Currents. Destiny Currents? And, and, and rules! You can break the rules! You have the rule breaker! That is your very, that is your very thing! But I'm trying to identify the root of these their unusual phenomenal cycles. 
If it was Mage Croft, then someone here should have soul that can never be fulfilled, and a, w and a will to bring about the curse that caused this. I assume Abigail is this? I mean... And that you lead us to the demon get pillar, yes? I believe so. I see. I don't think I've seen you work so hard on anything before, Medea. Me neither, but it's very encouraging and a nice change of pace. Huh? What do you mean by? Well, we can deal with that stuff later. We already told Master Mash about this, but Sans and I discovered something unusual too. Yesterday we met a girl called Lavina Watley. Oh yeah, La Lavinia. And her shitty sister, Latrinia. <laughs> She's a little albino shawl who runs into... Uh, yeah. Is that the only thing people noted about, notice about her albino... What about the horn? That literally groves when she gets upset, seemingly. Is no one noticing about that? Is no, what, no one mentioning about that? Like, what? Or do they don't see it? Is it not visible in the... In... in in four of them, as I say. But more importantly, she comes from a family of mages. Mm, wait, Nani? The Watley house is far from the village, and its basement appeared to contain a magical workshop. It has been concealed, but very roughly, we found discarded alchemy equipment strewn about. Nearby, we also found animal remains buried in the yard. That seems to have been used for dark magic rituals. What did this underground workshop look like? Does this mean that the girl's family are practicing mages? Well, I'm afraid we still don't know for sure. Neither Mata Harry nor I could have gone inside without leaving a choice. That sort of thing is more of Robin's alley. Robin! We need you to ex ex expose. There was nothing more we could do. Without master's permissions, we couldn't risk getting any closer. Even if we could use our spirit's form, we couldn't know we could, wouldn't be walking into a trap. That's okay. Just knowing that there's a magical workshop there is more than enough. We still need to be careful about how we handle this, though. If the people sail and find out that Watleys are mages, they're not, not telling what they might do. Uh, considering this era and what the entire thing Salem is famous for, I'm pretty sure we know what they might do. I'm just saying. I don't say it's a good thing, but we pretty sure know what they will do with them. Mashu, I believe you also said that the Lavinia and Abby are good friends. Yes, yes, that was Abby told me. However, seems that it all seems that people dislike the Watleys. The Watleys, the Hoolies, the Hooli Hooli Hooli. And I don't know about much about Abby knows about what that, if anything. Mages, mm, mm, that could have been worse than the clergy. The clergy? Daddy Craig? Is, is that, is that, we, we gonna get Daddy, you see, why don't we have Daddy Cray as a servant? Like, why not? Can't we get him like an, the, the epitome of uh, Daddy, like, his servant, servant name, Daddy, I am your Daddy, like, well, no, so that, that would be something, I, I would dig that. Azza, may I say something? I'm not sure if this is because of the right you completed here, Medea, but... Oh, did you remember something already? Go on, tell us. Yes, I did. Something very important, actually. The new judge who showed up after nowhere last night, Matthew Hopkins. I know him, or rather, I know of him. He's like me. One of the most famous executioner in history. He is? Then he's not really a judge? Well, more like Judge Dredd. I couldn't make heads or tail of that man. Who is he? He's... Wait, stop. Mm -hmm. Ah, 
Good morning, Abigail. Morning, everyone. What were you all wondering about? No. Nessa told me about how Uncle is out with Ring Mas Miss Ringmas right now. She she went to see how Tutuba is doing, right? That's right, so please don't worry, Abby. I'm sure that Senpai Mrs. Takada will clear Tutuba's name. Yeah, I guess you're right. Plus, Nessa's here too. Nessa? What about her? The young girl refused porridge. I added spice, she ate it. Ah, Spice Girl, you took the girl and like... <laughs> Perfect. And what kind of spice? Uh, and where do you hide the spice? Like, in your armpits? Like... <laughs> you know, we, we all know that girls don't smell. They, 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 their armpits are filled with spice. That was, that was my mama told me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. What you trying to say? Is that we talked about all sorts of things while I ate my porridge. And she told me that I found that any bad guy, she would beat them to a pulp. Wait, this is made up, so isn't that a pulp fiction? <laughs> that makes you don't completely evaporate before even a drop of your blood has a chance to hit the ground. I, I only have one thing to say, Nessa. No! <laughs> Don't! Don't do that! It sounded truly frightening, but I also kinda want to see it now. No. Why? Why, Nisa? Why? Why do you do your weird stuff? Of course. I would be delighted. Kachwamp! That sort of violent performance really isn't what we're going for with this troop. Maybe I should pray to God and ask for forgiveness. God. You know, I, 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 I don't care if people are religious or not and what religion they pray to and stuff like that. But I, I always find it like, I, 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 I ask God for forgiveness. Like, they, what? And it's God's plan that I'm in an abusive relationship. Like, no! There's nothing with that. It's, it's humans being shitty. It's about you being shitty. I'm gonna say. At any rate, we have a lot of we need to discuss with Mars as soon as she gets back. You mean about your place? Yes. Of course. Specifically, we need to discuss the tragedy and comedy taking place right here on Salem's own stage. Huh? Hmm. I wonder, may maybe this Medea is uh, either it I it's the the bacon thrower in, uh, from you know the caster of was it Okeanos, or maybe in, in future Abigail because she talking about she knows this place. Welcome back, senpai. Miss Carter went out again, and he took Abby with him. He said he was going to to the church to speak with the Reverend. It's not like concerned about what's going on with the other children. So right now we're the only ones here. Okay, okay gang! We're ready! <laughs> How did your investigation go? You said you met with Judge Hopkins. Would you mind telling them, Robin? That's not, no problem. You must be serious worn out of the deal with that old fart. That bad? Why don't you have a seat in that comfy chair and try to relax, Senpai? We learned a few things too while we were out, so I'd like to make sure we're all equally caught up. You've been a big help, Marshu. That's cool, Thank you, Senpai. That's what I was hoping to be when I asked you to come along. Okay, to start, let's go over what happened with Matthew Hopkins. The judge the sun showed up last night. And I don't know what that Hopkins guy's deal is. And you seem just angry. First of all, Miss Carter, Master Carter, and me. 
Went to the town hall in cell to talk to... I can't talk. But all the guards would tell us that she wasn't allowed any visitors. Order from the top and all. Oh man, look, they have the dick helmets. Hard dicks. So you weren't permitted to see her at all then? Nope. Turns out that in case holding cell is just a fancy way to say underground prison. I snuck a quick peek inside the cell and it was a real hellhole. There were rats and cockroaches everywhere, water leaking from the walls, and the whole place smelled like something had died. And it never, it never mind sunlight, the only light the whole jail was a few dim torches in the hallway. Any more than a day in that time and you lose your goddamn mind. What about Tituba then? Did you see her at all? Tituba's well, she's still alive I guess. She was curled up in a ball and freaking out something fierce. God! Coward! Rescue! Simplicity itself! Why did you not? Take it easy, Yoda. Cause I'm a coward, obviously. Especially here in Salem. Stop it, Nissa. Remember, Marcin Robert went to clear her name, not to break her out. If we were to overstep our bounds like that, we would only end up furthering suspicion against her. Hmm? Hmm? I see. Yes, you're right. Apologies, Robin. Thoughtless of me, that. Sh sure, no no problem. Anyway, like I was saying, it was all Hopkins called not let anyone see her. We didn't even let her owner, Carter, in. So we decided to go talk to him directly. We found him staying in a room at the fancy mansion in town. Of course. A ship captain by the name of Turner built it. Turns out they had a guest room specially reserved for judges and preachers and bigwigs like that. Okay, so you went to see Hopkins directly. Did he seem to be a demon god pillar? A demon god pillar? You serious? How the hell sh should I know? What was I gonna do? Shoot him in the face and see if he transform? Come on. Maybe we should do that. We, we go and shoot everyone in the face. Like, pew! In the end, all I could do was watch Moss and get worn out. Sorry for all the trouble, Robin. I don't sweat it. It's not every day we serve and get to help you out like this. Man, maybe the magical erosion caused by the curse the Medea is concerned about is affecting Master too? Hmm? What are you talking about? That's definitely important too, but first we want to hear more about what happened there. How did Mr. Carter handle negotiations? Carter is pretty level headed guy, but he also got balls of steel. My favorite balls! Steel and uranium. He went to toe to toe to toe to toe to toe. You never knew he was a mild mannered professor. Abby told me Carter served during a war. Uh, a military man. That explains it. He walks just a bit gingerly. Must be an old war wound. I'm impressed you caught that, Sanson. I didn't notice that at all. God didn't even try for an emotional appeal or anything like that. He just said that the two was his own private property and refused to budge from his claim that taking her away like that was an unlawful seizure. He even said I would seek punitive damage if this resulted in any impediment, in impediment to her ability to work. The constable who were there were pretty freaked when Carol said how much money he would ask for, but Hopkins didn't even blink. The curse doll, what of it? What became of that evidence? I don't- oh god. This is- I have a very bad feeling about this. That we are our wrong, ringmaster show what she was made of. Yay, I did something! She kept insisting to see the figure again to determine whether there was black magic at work. But? But all Hogman would say was... The devil is taking up residence at all, just as he's taken up his residence in Tituba. One, you don't look at the suffering child to see the hand of the devil in all of this. Ah! Oh, <laughs> Why? Oh, God! I wouldn't mind to get Hopkins as a servant just to burn him like You bastard! You motherfucker! I'm gonna take my fucking blanket there and like I refuse accept him! I do <laughs> If we're limited to the curse reach we cannot have people getting near or even touching that doll. Ironically, that would be a sensible move in a situation involving Magecraft. But Mr. Cathay wasn't having that. 
She decided to speak with the reverend who made the diagnosis. Mm. It helped Abby went with that. Really? That's true. Abby is a very strong believer herself. I'm a believer. I can read every day. Maybe she can get the reverend to listen to reason at, at, lo at least. I hope so. Now we just race against time. Ah, oh, shit. I don't do well with time. What do you mean? Hopki is going to tr to extract confessions from his suspects. That is what it is do best. Who is Hopkins? It's time you told us, Sanson. Alright. From what I know, Matthew Hopkins was a British attorney. If this is indeed 1962, Hopkins would be quite elderly, yet it does not seem so. However, he so tells us he died in, in 16... Wait, what? There is something odd. History tells us he died in 1647, almost a half century ago, if Abigail gave us the correct date. I can only surmise that history is wrong in this. During his life, he was best known by the title of Witchfinder General. So he's from the military? No, he's not military. Miffy Hawkins made witch on his life work. The title was, as uh, we know, one he gave himself. Oh god, he sounds. Oh god, he is. He, oh, he sounds like. You know, he sounds like one of these uh, crazy ass fucking YouTubers, you know? That is like, eh, I'm important. I add in myself a big title. I am Godsend. I am got prey to me. He spotted himself with the rewards he got from hunting witches. His methods were brutal, even cruel, but people went along with them. He, I heard that he was responsible for the execution of 300 so-called witches in East England over the course of three years. Oh my God. AKA, he literally murdered three hundred people, most likely most women, in three years, and, and, oh god, man, that is, that is, that is, yes, oh, holy crap, three people in three years, but weren't all of them innocent, most of them, yes, I expect, Ugh, what a scumbag. So she, so he went around seeing innocent people strung up as witch just to make a buck? Did you say they were hanged? I thought witches were burned at stakes back then. The vast majority of these witch hunts resulted in hangings, especially in England. Witchcraft was considered a grave crime against the teaching of God. Such suspected witches were tried and executed the same as other felons. Burning some at the stake was a form of torture than execution, and also served as a warning to anyone watching. As execution go, hanging is far more efficient and less painful. As the people of British colonies, they probably share many of the same sensibility. I'm gonna hang the tube. Oh my god! With Hopkins here, that's definitely possible. Putting the tuba in a disgusting underground prison will wear on mind, and quickly. Oh gosh, if an ordinary pair is locked away, start and deny visitors. They might last a week. No, three days at most. Three days at that? What do you mean by race against time? Sansa, very knowledgeable about this. I mean, that was what Sansa was famous for, execution and stuff. Gotta hand it to you, Prince Nessa. You're way better with kids than me. <laughs> so then you were never able to examine the evidence. I took a look at it, but I couldn't tell you one way or another. It just looked like a regular handcrafted doll. That means I will need to examine it myself. For all of you talismans, I don't think you'd be best equipped to handle this sort of thing. It would be great if you could do that, but... Tell us about this workshop ritual. Of course. I believe you already heard the general outline I gave out to the others earlier. 
Spare you the details. In summary, I took the liberty of turning this out to my workshop. It should be quite helpful, as it seems we are lodged by staying here during our mission. I see. Indeed, as of for now, the very area we investigating here is much smaller compared to past missions. My primary aim was to ensure you I could make full use of my mage crop, but there are other benefits as well. That is, as long as we in my workshop, we are not affected by the influence this land is having on us. You can use your spirit for me and Yay! Right, but only the very small part of it. Oh? Can anyone here describe what Tituba looks like in detail? Big boobs! I know she's uh, uh, my man and woman with brown skin, but well, that's strange. What about the color of her eyes, her hairstyle, her build, her age? Uh, big boobies, uh, dark eyes, long fluffy hair, ears, age? Uh, well, I hope she's around 30 at least. Or it turns very weird very quickly. I don't imagine, I can't remember anything like that. Oh man, I can't either, what the hell? Damn, you're right, my dear. We didn't even know we were caught in enemy's trap. So now something been interfering with our awareness or maybe our memories. And as long as we're inside this workshop, we're not subjugated to that interference, or correct? Right, if this bound field can easily interfere with the seven senses, it must be sort that that would typically require divine spirit to create. And yet we still can't get a firm grasp on it. It's like we it slips away whenever we try. We discovered him. What do you think? Hmm? Isn't it obvious? The tube has been concealing her true appearance all along. Actually, she's the one who struck me as odd at this point. More so than Hopkins, in fact. What? If anyone here has connection to a demon called the Pillar, I bet it's her. What? No. Ideally, I would like to examine her after she returned here to Mr. Crofter's, Crofter's, Carter's house. But since that no longer seems to be possible, I just have to go examine her myself. That seems like you put yourself at a hell of a disadvantage. Well, I guess you're the only one who hasn't been a so, a f so affected by the bounded field. I guess that's why you're the queen witch or whatever, yeah? <laughs> you know it, I'm the baddest witch of all. No need to be shy about it. Okay, that is definitely something suspicious, cause... She hated to that. I'll always be. She hated. She hated to be called the witch. Kind of thought that might piss you off. I guess Salem agrees with you or something. And we're already asking a lot of you, Maria, but there's something else we need your help with. What about contact Caldea? I've been focusing on getting the workshop done, so I haven't made any progress here yet, but I'm about to. I'd give about a 50-50 chance of working, sadly. Master, I think this is your call. Do we focus on saving or possibly capturing Tituba? Or making contact with Caldea? What? No, is this, a, is this an important choice? We can just... Let me see, let me see what Master thinks. Master, think for me! I don't know what to think. Um, hmm. Uh, let's ask Mashu. I'm using my f first um, lifeline. Ask Mashu. This is an important mission, so I guess we should focus on making contact with Caldea. We don't have any time to waste, Senpai. You need to consider our options carefully. I'm pretty sure that long face of yours isn't going to convince Mashu of anything of the sort. Nope. I guess not. Anyway, there might be a whole bunch of problems we got solved, but it's not like we're suffering any losses ourselves so far, right? So don't get mad at me for saying uh, this, but I don't think Contact Caldea needs to be the priority now. Oh, you're backing me up on this, Medea? Yes, I agree. Even the circumstances, making contact with Caldea can wait. For now, I'm going to pay Hopkins a visit. Would you mind escorting me, Ringmaster? I'd like to say that no one else need to come along, but I doubt that will be well received. Me, I'll go along too. It's ranking numbers, right? 
then I shall join you as well. I think there may be something can I can do to improve the situation. That would be great. Thank you, Sans. Would it be really wise to bring a French guy into this? Okay, then, meantime, we'll keep investigating the village. Robin, Nessa, shall we? Sure thing. Guess we will head back to the wait, wait list. Understood. Holy crap. Oh, God. I must say I really like the story. I mean, lots of... Man, there's... Damn, there's lots of... What? That's some fancy ass house. Lana, what's it? I do not care how many times she asks. I will not be releasing a suspect held in custody. If she is truly innocent, then she has nothing to fear. Do not interfere with my work. Yeah, sure. Oh, God. You're oddly presumptuous for a band of traveling performers. Unless you have some personal reason to protest the suspect's detention. Oh, man. Senpai, are you sure it was a good idea to face him head on like this? Now, uh, can I just give him a big ass bitch like a. It's the quickest way to get Medea to get a look. That may be true, but still. No, no, Mashu. You need to keep Hopkins talking. Make him show you evidence he he seized. Okay, here it goes. Here goes that. Absolutely not. That evidence is crucial to this case. This is not up for discussions. Yeah, but uh, why are only you allowed to uh, having fun with that thing? Eh? Mm? How can we trust you? And if you say, ha, huh, because I'm the point by the governor, but. I am appointed by myself, and I am above the governor, because I say so. <laughs> Isn't there anything we can do? Why are you so fixated on this object? The slave woman has already admitted to making it. I mean, but... Yeah, so, just because she made it... Ah, you hate that! <laughs> You're an, uh, and who might you be, you French piece of baguette? My name is Charles Henry Sanson, a member of the Lana Company. Should you really throw your name around like that? A Frenchman, eh? You're so long ways from home. Indeed, I've been wondering for a long time, but there's another thing or two about medicine. In fact, I have treated a significant number of patients. Furthermore, I'm told there are people here who have fallen ill, with children among their number. So if you would please, Your Honor, I would ask your permission to examine them. But now this is a prize. You, a doctor? No doubt you'd be charged exorbitant price for some poaching or so. Or perhaps you're a heretic, just Oh, you motherfucking, you're gonna go. Can, can we just do everyone, like, ganging up and punching him? And, like, someone hold him, I punch him in the nuts. Nothing of the sort, Your Honor, for example. I can see that you suffer from joint pain. And what does that prove? The same could be said for most men of my age. Yeah, you 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 really deserve to get your ass beaten. I just now imagine Sanson as Dr. House though, like I'm sure the inclement weather we have been lately we have been having lately doesn't help. Perhaps your aching joints have put you in a foul mood. I can also see that you're enjoying your liqueur. But I don't care for a lot of milk in your tea. <laughs> if I may, I would suggest that you refrain from drinking too much. It would also do you good to eat more fresh vegetables rather than subsist only on bread and meat. As yet, croquettes, I mean, zucchini. I also recommend salad with parsley and apple vinegar dressing. It will help with the pain. Did I have apple vinegar back then? I'm actually gonna Google it up. Apple vinegar. Uh, when I actually remember because I was actually drinking apples. Is is apple cider vinegar? And uh, not much. It was like a small tea, tea, table, a small teaspoon, because uh, it helped. It, this this is supposed to help with the, you know, with the metabolism and stuff like that.
and uh, wait, they're gonna say his story. I see. Um, one of the oldest. Ooh, I didn't know that. Huh. Uh, made from fer fermented apple juice. Yes, that makes sense. Um, procession uh, safety. Where was where was your date from this thing? I assume it is. I assume they did have it then. If it's considered to be one of the oldest. Something like that. Uh, dating, the oldest fermented process of wine, first vinegar, were made dating back to 5000 BC. Holy crap! <clears throat> yeah, so they probably did have. <laughs> and I'm sorry, random information about apples, uh, vinegar, you know. Did they die? Oh god. I can't say I approve of your method, Frenchman. Any layman could do the same. I can all but hear you shout that you aren't like those ghouls who think applying a few leeches entitled them to a reward. That is so rich coming from you. You literally leeches on mankind by going in and saying like, yeah, this, this bitch here is a witch. Let's burn her. Oh god, this guy, man. I, I, I do not like him. Not at all. Very well, I shall grant you permission to examine the passions. However, you're not to harm or puncture the bodies in any way, nor are you permitted to administer anything brought in from outside their homes. Also, you may charge no fee. You will pay it at a fixed amount per household from the village coffers. Thank you, Joanna. This is more than enough. This is great. Now we can examine the village as much as we like. Masha, that sounds kinky. <laughs> yeah, my... Plus, I think this could help with our invalidity. Probably not. True, he does seem to have softened up a bit. Hapkins, your first responsibility lies neither to village nor to your decrypt knees and back. It is the health of a valuable witness, Tituba. As a fellow woman, I'm going to examine her, whether you like it or not. Give me the key to her cell now. Holy shit! Medea is literally like, yeah, you. Let us in. Medea? I'm sorry, Masha, the ringmaster. There is something about this man I can't stand. Well, now, if you come to perform a farce, I'm afraid you're in the wrong place. And what about you? Are you really fit to serve as the guardian of the law that you claim to be? Medicine is an intellectual practice, and this is the domain of men. The superstitious nonsense women espouse that healing is nothing but a witch girl. Yes. Damn these superstitious nuns and women. What? We. You're not welcome into the domain of men. You don't know anything. Oh, God. Tell me, woman, are you a witch? Maybe. Oh, gosh. And I mean, obviously, I know things then. Back then, that kind of view was not seen as an immoral thing. That women are lesser and all of that. But uh, looking it through to from today, it's like, holy shit, dude! I'm wisdom itself. Deep womanly wisdom. Clearly, you do not believe that women have anything useful to offer in their experience or stories. Oh, snap. Watch your mouth. How dare you to address his honor that way? I mean, it's a, the two dickheads, bros. Dick A and Dick B. Fuck off. Hold. These people don't come here to enact violence. I've heard stories myself, you know. Including ones about thieves who disguise themselves as traveling performers. Indeed, I see now that such a cover will be perfect for those with lar lar larcenous intent. Cunning clowns, we know the children, and I've seen the dress dancing gods beguile good, upstanding men. <laughs> I, oh, God, I hate that. <laughs> it's like, oh no, it's uh, uh, a sexy woman. Yeah, 
shame on her for being good looking. It's not the throng of horny men that is standing there whipping their dicks out. <laughs> God. I must say that they have done very well with making this character, this Hopkins, very unlikable, but also making him feeling like def a, a, a real defined character from this era, you know? With his uh, a way, uh, ugh, even if he's about uh, the mislead town of town people with the characters of bystanders and voyeurs, and taking advantage of the commotion to steal from them. At times, they even commit arson or burglary and disappear like so much smoke. Once they leave, they never return to that town, not even caring what manner of evidence they leave behind. What a foolish, dim-witted notion! Such a greedy band could never hope to perform a refined tragedy, nor a moving comedy. None could ever compare to King Lear or the Merchant of Venice as, as I saw them in London Globe Theatre. Ha ha ha! Damn it, Shakespeare! You're in for where we get back! Damn you, Shakespeare! Ah! 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 Guess who died? You come down with a cold, or did you must have just get stuck in your nostril? <laughs> I just got a strange yield down my spine. Oh, oh well, I'm sure it's nothing. <laughs> Definitely a cold. Or Corona. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, everyone in Colty is sick now. God damn it. And uh, of course, there is this thing like the saying that if you're sneezing, it's because someone is talking behind your back. Hypocrite, arson and burglary are precisely what you said did during your witch hands. Uh, still, could it be that he regret his past now? He almost seems like he's trying to make amends. I swear to you that we respect some custom and will never do anything to compromise its pity. You don't say. I will tell you now that I sent a message down to Boston to visit someone who knows the city well. And he reported back that no one had ever heard of a troop called himself Delano Company. That is not in itself a significant problem. Massachusetts has not forgotten the Boston Witch Trial of John Godwin from four years ago. Wait, wasn't... Uh, John Goodwin... Uh, wasn't he the... Wasn't he, like, the one that, uh, uh, wasn't he, like, accused for being, a, like, a witch? Or was there someone else? I'm not exactly sure, but... Could be. Four children began having strange seizures, and as I expected, an old witch was responsible. They probably just, they, they probably have, like, uh, epilepsy or something. That is the... Oh no, that is obvious. I mean, today many things like, oh, it's it's weird diseases stuff like that, the viruses and uh, some uh, inherent traits, so to speak. And uh, yeah, indeed, the devil frequently make a use of women for his evil means. Who can you be certain that his slave woman is not one of his paws? God, I can't handle the 1600s. <laughs> oh, God. As I declare that Salem must be placed on high alert. Oh, God. I am. I am. Oh. I. I. I want to punch you. There are witches in our midst. The devil is here in Salem. There's no telling what he, he, form he may take. Maybe he is you! You know? You say that yourself. We don't know what form he may take. Who says it's not you? And if you say, No, I'm not the devil. Of course the devil would say that. So, Hem? Hem, hem, hem? Hmm? Yeah? Does it mean you're banishing us? Hmm, so you would confess your guilt by running away. Quite the opposite, Lana. I'll give you permission to perform for the entire town. Nani? 
that you will perform tonight. You will give a masterful performance that moves everyone here. And in so doing, you will demonstrate that you truly are performers. Gather as many villagers as will fit in the tunnel and give them a good to show. We guys did that last night. That was only a select few. This will be for the rest of the village. And if you play, it does not move them. I will have your arrest as bandits pretend to be performers and investigate you all thoroughly. If we succeed, will you release the tuba from prison? That is a promise I cannot make. A crime is still a crime. But I can say that with regards to the trial, your success will leave a much better impression on the jurors. And one more thing, that woman will not be in your cast when you perform. Uh, me? Why? <laughs> Look, lucky and attention are compared. Dude. You were extremely rude to judge. Be grateful to I did not pass. My god. Dude. You must be one insanely hated man right now. If you're not then uh, like the jury in the United States. They seem to like that kind of people. But uh, yeah. In fact, I will even put you next to the tuba, just as you wished. Hopkins! A truly convincing anguish. I hope to see you such pathos for all your actors tonight. Idea. This is also sudden. You want us to perform tonight? What place should we? Do not worry. I will select that for you as well. What? It must be about something that Salem needs more than ever. I don't trust this at all. This is... Oh my god. Ah. I have a bad feeling about this madness. So they are literally taking... Oh. Medea. And... Oh my god. This guy is... I mean. They are done very well with that. Obviously. Like. They made this guy like literally like. Yeah. You know. Damn you women for being so full of sin. And. Oh gosh. But, uh, well, I will cut for now and I will be back with more FGO very soon. So thank you for watching, see you later on, and have a continuous super great day.